Silver has another awesome quality. It has a loyal title to it. If you hold it, you own it. Almost every asset you own is controlled by somebody else. If you own your house outright, you still have to pay property tax, which means you really don't own it. Your cars, computers, TVs, and clothes are rendered less valuable with each registration, taxation, new fashion, or planned obsolescence. Even your stocks are not really yours because the actual certificates are being held by the nefarious DTCC. Who knows if they're selling stock that maybe they don't have. Have you ever heard of naked short selling? Silver is without counterparty risk. You do not have to rely upon somebody else fulfilling a promise for your asset to have value. All paper assets have counterparty risk. They use interest rates to value the risk that you might not get your money back. This will become very important as our society collapses and promises are broken by all. When the collapse accelerates, people will do the unspeakable thing as they become more and more desperate. People whom you have relied upon for years will suddenly break faith. This will not only happen on an individual level, but also on a corporate and governmental level. Pensions will be cut, benefits terminated, interest payments not paid. And this is where things get really scary. At this point, we will either see a deflationary crash or hyperinflationary depression. It will be a deflationary crash if there is not enough money to pay the increasing debt and interest. But I believe the elite will pay all the obligations to keep their game going. Do you still believe that we should maintain the fundamental principles of Social Security as it as it did in 83? I think we should maintain the principles of Social Security, but I think the existing structure is not working, and that uh, until we can construct a system which creates the savings that are required to build the real assets so that the retirees have real goods and services, uh, we don't have a system that's working. We have one that basically moves cash around, and we can guarantee cash benefits it's far out and at whatever size you like, but we cannot guarantee their purchasing power. And this is why the issue ultimately has got to be resolved in terms of do we have the material goods and services that people will need to be or need to consume, uh, not whether or not we pass some hurdle with respect to how legal financing occurs because the financing is a secondary issue, and it's the means to create the real wealth, not an end in itself. This will get every promise paid with toilet paper currency, 